What's going down, Clutch? What? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dup. It's your boy Ross. And we're in the Clutch. Hey! Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, another video today, you feel me? We got another interesting one. Visiting the tribe that eats humans. Papua Island? Huh? Say that again. Uh, Pop Papua. Uh-huh. Say it slow. P-A-P-U-A Island. Papua. Papua? Papua? <laughs> Papua. Papua. Papi, Papi the nigga. Uh, Papua. <laughs> uh yeah, they eat humans. Dub found this one, y'all, by the way. I didn't find this one. <laughs> Dub found this video. This is uh someone said nuke it. <laughs> no, bro. <laughs> No, it's not nuke these people. It seems like a, a indigenous island that, you know, I, I I really can't explain the eating of other people. So uh, I'm going to just, we're going to watch this video and we're going to figure it out together. Why is this a thing? Appreciate all the, the love and support. Yeah, this definitely might be rogue. <laughs> Let's get into this Cannibalism one, has been around for millenniums, but there's still one island where it is practiced to this oh, whoa. day. Mm, why are you looking good behind that camera? <laughs> I'm walking through the jungle in Papua right now. They're all holding bow oh. and arrows behind me. Okay, yeah. Bro, you a brave man. Yeah, like bro. you a brave. Come on, man. Man, come on, fam. You over you a there. brave man. Lathered up. Dub, how the what the fuck? How did you find this? what i want to know same way but, we but the uh, thing is this is this really on some national geographic type stuff to yeah be honest with you to be honest with you this is what this is this but, kind of stuff i'll be watching nisha be almost who y'all watching that weird stuff well it's not weird it's the world yeah it's the world it don't be this deep but it'd be things like that bro, you can learn but yeah this is, yeah bro this is this is who we share the world with we would never know this without this brave white man <laughs> If you want to be honest, it's usually a brave white man that ventures into the unknown with a camera. We have to give them credit for that, bro. For we real. Uh, we do because I, I, can, I give you credit. I can tell you now, niggas ain't doing it. I don't give a fuck if we do have the same skin color. I'm good, bro. I, see <laughs> I ain't about to mess up my joints in this forest. You, you got a that? sharp sharp stick and your underwear is a leaf. I don't even <laughs> gotta argue with you. You know what? Yeah, this props to the white people out there because without y'all, we don't. I'm I'm always been interested in like National Geographic and videos sure. like this that show the world. You know what I'm saying? Because I know I ain't about to travel to that bitch. But you know what I'm saying? To see you travel and show us, hey, I appreciate that. Kudos, fam. Because kudos, we would bro. Never know what's outside of a <laughs> little parameter. nigga. I wouldn't know if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you. Appreciate okay. it. Look at him. I'm, I'm gonna eat this nigga. Why he ain't walking in the front? <laughs> You gotta walk in front of me. Oh, whoa! World's <laughs> last cannibal tribe. Traveling to Papua Island in Papua. many ways is Papua. the pinnacle of exploration. This remote Melanesian island is larger than Texas and is the most diverse. Damn! Island. Hold on, did you see that? Melanesian. Island is larger than. Just for comparison, y'all. Texas is large, bro. Yeah, it is. It's, that shit is huge. Look at that. That lets you know how big it's like our Cali, city is. It's like Cali kind of like laid to the side a little bit more. <laughs> That's more stressed a, out. Jesus Christ. In Texas and is the most diverse place on earth with 312 different tribes speaking over a thousand unique languages. What? In my eyes, just out with it, huh? the climax of anthropology, the study of humans who have been living on this island for more than 65 years. Wow. So it is 6.01 a.m. and I am heading to West Papua, Indonesia to meet the Korowai tribe. However, my camera guy just got denied at immigration. So oh. I'm going in alone and I'm uh -oh. kind of petrified. Bro, that would have been a sign. That would have been, all right. Well, I mean, I, I see white I people, they're not, they not going, they, they're not they easy. Ignore the signs. Yeah. They're going to be like, you know what? I spent all this money and time. I know my cameraman, camera guy can't be here, but I'm going to be here. You know, I'm going to finish the mission. That's the one thing about white people. They're going to finish the mission. Us? Even if there's a lot of signs that say don't finish the mission, they're going to finish that fucking mission. Yeah, no, nah, they, don't, they don't necessarily care. And bro. we appreciate you because we wouldn't have got this with it. We wouldn't have. 
As soon as I touched down in Jayapura, the largest city in West Papua, I had a massive beautiful. logistical nightmare. Yeah, it do look well. What's up, man? How are you? I don't know. This is Otis, a friend of a friend of a friend who is from Jayapura. A friend of a he friend of a friend. immediately breaks the bad news that we failed to get a licensed tour guide to take us to the tribe because it's too dangerous. He says no. Do we have another guy to yeah. go? Yeah. Who? For another guy. Yeah. Nah, nigga, you heard what I asked. Nah. I don't know if it's it's Otis. Usually it's called trust your gut. Right now my gut tells me don't go. Oh, yeah, yeah. In order to again, white listen people to you, listen to your gut, man. No, 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 no. We wouldn't get this footage, white people. I'm telling you, your man, gut. Was... Yeah, somebody else said it. I don't trust Otis either, bro. When he, he repeated the question, no, nah, you know where we <laughs> going. To the tribe, we must take a domestic flight, and you cannot book the tickets online. Only at an airline office, just like it's 1985. Damn. Oh. On the third, November third. I am no longer white now. Nah. Hey, bro. Oh, this looks sketchy yeah. as hell, bro. We're ticket agency booking manual tickets. So, when's the last time you actually went to an office and got handed a, a piece of paper with the ticket? Yeah. The funny thing is that we don't even know that we have a guide yet, but we booked the tickets. Right? Yeah. White people stuff. You ready for the guide? <laughs> Otis bullshitting, bro. Otis so. <laughs> like, might the one-way domestic flight is <laughs> one point three five million Indonesian rupiah. Whoa! How much? That's one hundred and fifty dollars. He said tickets to sell out. Oh no! Plane, so. Yeah, two point three. The price for the one-way domestic flight is two point three five. Ah shit! Yo, bro, I go over there. I'm a millionaire, fam. Come on, man. And that motherfucker was good with y'all, man. man. Keep the change. Yeah, keep that shit. You feel me? <laughs> Take keep that. that extra, keep the extra hundred thousand. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I'm good. I'm life is good over yeah, here. Over here, bro. <laughs> keep the eat, really people eat us away from. Rupiah. Then it was disaster after disaster. The first issue was that I could not get any cash, and cash oh. is very needed in this society. Oh, my card is stuck in the ATM. <gasps> been a Look at Otis. Out. Otis, like this gonna be it. What happened, bro? Okay, nah, I would have started shaking that machine. Give yeah, me my damn. No, I would have beat the fuck out that machine. <laughs> Sir, what are you doing? Got my goddamn credit card. It's well, still no, in my you going over there. I'm a over billionaire here. over here, motherfuckers. Give me my. Well, they probably send you to jail for that. I don't give a fuck, bro. Give me my damn money. Different ATM. Yeah. Taking out money is not so easy. After calling my bank and trying six different ATMs, I finally got it. Well, that's then a I lot of trust, I boy. to get a special permit from the police station to be able to fly down south to visit the tribe. So we went to the police station. Otis, do you think we will get the permit? Like Otis. Like Otis just sticking in, bro. He's getting his money. We right. successfully got the permit. Thanks to Otis, he took me to the police headquarters and uh, we waited and we got it. We don't have a guide yet. Don't be worried about guide. I can find it. <laughs> <In Papua. laughs> I hope so, man. We need we more Otis's. A potential guide just now. I got Otis. So we got a guide. Yeah. Otis, a real one, bro. Got a guide, Martin. He's supposed to be meeting here in my hotel to talk about the trip tomorrow in ten hours from now. But he's not answering his phone, and he's an hour late. So we don't know if he just ditched us. Did you call him? Okay. We got a new fit. Did he answer? He'll not pick up the phone. Why he not pick up the phone? I don't know exactly. I already contacted another guy, but he sent me a message to say this is a short time. I feel lost and hopeless right now. Oh my god. He really wanted to do this job. Dude, you're here. This nigga comes smoking a cigarette and Are shit. Okay? Martin finally showed up at my hotel and we hashed out all the details for the itinerary, the price, and what to expect. We finished our meeting at 2 a.m. Hold on, and bro. Our flight into the jungle was at 7 a.m. Maybe I'm just, uh, maybe we need to get out more. But my trust meter oh, no. is just no, you're, you're off fine. the rocker, fam. Yeah, nah, I could not, bro. You, you late. Then you come with this mud smoking the square, just chilling. You don't even look like you know what's going on, bro. You like Otis know somebody. Hey, yeah, cousin, bro. come come get this money real quick off this white man. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, thank you white people for doing this. Yeah, bro. 
because we ain't doing it. I don't trust morning. nobody. If you want to hear more stories about this logistical nightmare, then see the video I just posted on my second channel. There's a massive storm happening outside. Storming out here. I really hope this rain doesn't continue tomorrow, otherwise I'm This is the calm before the storm. See you guys when I wake up. All right. Morning. Let's do this. Hey, bro. Are you ready? Thank you. Ready. For our flight. <laughs> ready to get that here. money. Yeah. Oh, we probably come up it off front. Otis, Otis can't find his ticket. Okay. Otis. So fat ass like paper. <laughs> We jumped on a small propeller plane that was so Damn. hot inside you could see the sweat dripping off Martin's face. No work. Damn, bro. <laughs> These niggas on a old school propeller plane with no air. Just in this old just whoo. Show is hot up here. Bro. Somebody said ready to get that money and leave oh. them there to die. Right. Okay. <laughs> Words were exchanged on the flight, and ah. I was so nervous. There I was, sitting on a plane with three strangers, and had no idea where I was going. Bro, oh, somebody, somebody take this yeah. Plane. We made it. Woo. We hitchhiked a ride on the back of a truck and headed 45 minutes away to the very end of the dirt road. We have just arrived, and now we walk through the forest. Somehow we're going to carry all this stuff with us. Not sure how. These guys asked us what we're doing and they offered to help take our bags in because they know where the tribe is. Bro, there's so much amount of trust you yeah, have. Yeah, bro. Have, just, bro. Just like, yeah. The type of. There's so many red flags there. Yeah, just going like, off, fam. Like. Jesus, man. Once again. Hell nice. Shout out to you white people, bro. We, we appreciate y'all. <laughs> yeah, food for them and everything. Okay. We walk. Dude, we are really about to walk straight through the forest. Look at this. Oh, no. Oh. Cannibals. Yes. So there has to be in my tree house. In the New house. friend. The hide house. The tree house. Because it's like they, for them, safe. Yeah. If they make the hard tree house, it's like, you know, in low or in under the tree. It's like easy to kill each other and they can kill how do okay. they how do they kill humans? By Really? By, yes. I hope they don't kill me, bro. Maybe I'll try to kill you. Can you kill me? No. <laughs> we trekked nah, more than one what? hour through leech infested. What? Rain Nigga, I just met you, bro. It's no way in hell you could joke like that and we just met. And I don't know nobody from here. Wait, and I already don't trust none of y'all. That told me all I needed to know, bro. Like, <laughs> once again, you white people, man, we appreciate y'all, bro. Yeah, bro. Where is Otis, bro? We don't know. He didn't make it. <laughs> <Out. You> know? <laughs> we trekked more than one hour through leech infested, oh, rain soaked man. jungles to reach the mysterious tribe. Thank you. Hey, go this way. <laughs> Carlos is a man. I didn't know I was going to meet him, but he's, he speaks English. He knows what's going on. That's that look, bro. You got dinner. All right, which way? <laughs> Faithful oh. dinner that's coming to the oh. damn stove. Is that them? Is that them? Yes. Really? So are you oh. walking fast and shit? Okay, we are coming. That's a giving a symbol of the. So this guy in front of us is leading us the way, and the way that they're speaking to them is just screaming through the jungle. <laughs> Fresh meat. <laughs> Dinner's on the way. <laughs> Dinner is on the way. We got we got a white one this time. We ain't white meat. That. <laughs> We're gonna have to get the extra seasoning. Dinner is on the way. Just to get fast food. <laughs> They're walking right to them. Yeah, he's jumping on the stove. <laughs> this is Otis wild. bought them that white chicken. Facts. He said, it's new. I think we're getting close, man. They're talking uh, back. 
just that smiling. That moment, first contact, is something I'll never forget. Woo! 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 Boy, you better shut up. You don't know what the fuck you saying. Chill out, Woo! man. Chill out, bro. Oh. Food rare. Oh. Food's here. Oh, Food's here. no. Oh, no. Nah. They're getting acquainted acquaint with their new meal. Yeah. When you meet the, like yeah. this guy, you will say, Cotre, I Cotre. I Cotre. I caught it. 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 I came a long way to visit you from all the way from the other side of the world. Welcome. Wait, my boy got a. Yeah. Wait, go back. Everything that I like, like when I yeah. yeah, it was the Nike hat on with the Nike hat, man. Yeah. I'm always getting out there. Everything that I hear about, like when I Google the tribes here, they talk about life 30, 40 years ago, you know, and they, they were eating people. So, can I ask him about that? Uh, he was explained that uh, Momona tribe would never uh, eat people, but the people eat. Kill and eat is for white tribe. I quickly came to find out that this is actually the Mamuna tribe, not the Korowai tribe. I was misled here by Martin, but I decided to stay because both tribes live in the same rainforest. Martin and got his damn money. Cultures and lifestyles. Facts. The Mamuna and the Korowai are sister tribes, but it's the Korowais who are the cannibals of the two. Nonetheless, I am here to learn all about their fascinating ways of life. There are roughly 3,000 members Martin of the tribe that they live deep in the Pablo rainforest. Modernization is slowly creeping in, which explains their cigarette addictions, but they still maintain traditions. Damn, they rolling that shit. Right. Years. Bear. Whoa. The first time this tribe laid eyes on a foreign human was just 35 years ago. Traditionally, Damn. the Mamuna live in tall, stilted tree houses scattered throughout the jungle to protect themselves from floods and animals. Yeah. Also, to disrupt other clans from capturing its members for cannibalistic needs. Right away, upon first interaction, I am thrown into a scene of the Mamuna preparing sago, a starch that is extracted from tropical palm trees only found here in the Papuan jungle. It is their primary source of nutrition. I, I really want to know, like, what does human taste like? But because they don't know. But they don't Why know. is he still on this shit? It tastes like a male yeah, pig. Yeah. Maybe. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. When you were younger, <laughs> were you scared of visiting other tribes and they would kill you? Or why? Saba. Yeah, he's, 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 he's scared. He's scared we go visit to another people, another tribe. He's scared that yeah. they will kill him. Yeah. When you were younger, were you scared of other people eating you? He ever see the some people coming to kill, but yeah, he's scared. When he see, you gotta get one of those, Ross. Scared. Yeah. No, I'm good. Too All right, speak. let's talk about cannibalism. To most people, cannibalism is one of the most terrifying concepts imaginable. But for some <laughs> tribe members of Papua Island. Human flesh is a dish central to their culture, and it has been for thousands of years. Wow, While the Mamunas bro. aren't the ones eating humans, their neighbors are. And Carlos told me some really fascinating things about the Korowai tribe. It's up, uh, in Korowai. Appreciate that goofy for I, description. I one it. woman from another uh, village take run away. The another guy and that who's our one of the women, they will come and kill me and then eat. That's punishment. That's punishment. Damn. I learned that the Korowai don't eat humans for enjoyment or nutritional value. It's simply a form of punishment. Steal something, get burned over a fire, and eaten. More specifically, the Korowai believes that mysterious deaths like diseases are attributed to the Kakua, or evil demons who take on the human form. Kakuas are said to disguise themselves as friends or family members in an attempt to gain the trust of the tribe so they can later kill them. It is Korowai tradition to perform cannibalistic rituals on anyone believed to be a Kakua so they can protect the rest of its members. It is part of their revenge-based justice system. It's actually pretty surprising how welcoming they are. I mean, they probably never get visitors or very rarely. And they've been pretty, uh, pretty welcome so far. So far. Wait till it gets dark. <laughs> it is getting dark. Where are you sleeping at? Yeah, that's the real question. Because I definitely would not want to sleep on the forest floor. Or in the treehouse. 
<laughs> hey, don't fall, my boy. This water is like three feet deep. If I fall, I'm right now. You got it, bro. You good? You good? There you go. There you go. That's the that's the test. They got a he got a pass. When they walk back, they sing through the forest. Okay, with the vocals, mm, right? What? Okay. Okay. Hey, hold on, boy. Okay. Yeah, boy. Oh, oh. Hey. Beautiful. Amazing. Hey. I love rumble, the rumble. Cutting down this. Hey. Damn, that man going in with the axe. Right. Oh, timber. Damn. <laughs> I guess when all the kids run away, I should know to run away too. Yeah, no Dude, shit. This tree is huge. It's half fallen already. Putting the final touches on yeah, it. Little man going yeah. to work. Ah, he, he killing that. Can you help me? Nah. All right, I'm gonna help him finish it off. Oh lord. Yeah, they laughing at you. Look at this nigga form. Uh, white man. Oh, look at him. Man, if you grow up in the jungle, you get strong pretty quickly. Handling that axe at a young age. It's crazy how much they get from trees. The food, the shelter. Beds. My kids won't take Everything out the trash. <laughs> <laughs> so this is campsite where they all hang out. Um, they've invited us to stay here. Can you he said travel tip: always bring a head flashlight with you. Or a oh, he's staying. Situations like this, yeah. you never know when it's gonna come in handy. There's no electricity here, so I can see everything in front of me. Okay. All right. The fuck are you getting? Oh, damn. We had brought with us a lot of food for the tribe and offered to cook stir fry and rice for everyone at night. Oh, look at you. Hey, you better bring something because you know if your ass didn't bring food, they going to be like, damn, this is a good. Our food brought us some food. <laughs> right. <laughs> he knew better. This is a sagu. Burn on fire. And then we eat. Good. Mm, that's good. Dude went so he can eat humans legally. You stupid, bro. <laughs> Whoa. It's like bread, bro. It's actually really good. Nah. Skin chip. <laughs> what? We're setting up our bed for the night right here. Basically, just have a black mat, thin mat that we're laying down. Before I sleep, I'm putting my sock over my pants so the bugs will not get inside on my bare skin. Oh, uh, damn. You wake up being slowly roasted on a, a, <laughs> a fire. That shit would be wild. Facts. Whoa, what's happening? <laughs> that boy said he brought food. Yeah, I bet you did. You ain't bring nothing. You knew what was going to happen to your ass. Good. Look at Otis. Like so many bugs. Oh, I smell bad. Why are you sleeping there? <sighs> I'm getting cold. I can't sleep okay. right by the <laughs> fire. Right, like. It's up to you. I really don't understand how I can have so many mosquito bites and spider bites if I was covering my Damn. body from head to toe. I'm telling you, these bites. Whoa. Uh, Ooh, this making me area. itch. <sighs> right. You ain't used to that, man. It's a special moment. They've invited me in their house as they're cooking sago for breakfast. Sago? What? That's crazy. It looks like a big ass biscuit. Yeah, get some of that, yeah. Get some of that young blood. Oh. Mm. Mm, yeah, like this rock. good. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. I like bread with this really chewy texture. 
That is so interesting. It tastes good. It tastes. Someone good. said the spider bites they injected the, the seasoning. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything like this in my life. Yeah, Dude, you better eat that. Eat up. Eat up. You better enjoy that. Are you trying to get them fat? <laughs> it's amazing how everything from the forest is used here. Wood, bamboo, fruit. Absolutely incredible. We ain't got no other choice. We gotta so use what you got. And this guy just rolls up with a bow and arrow. The Mamuna started getting ready to embark on their morning hunt, and I accepted their invitation to join them. Alright. Alright. You are the hunt. <laughs> Run. I'll be watching our boy with them bows. Fiend, 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 fiend. a cool way of calling people in the jungle when they get lost. Like that. So fascinating. So fascinating. This is really cool. So they're all hunting around. Oh, don't trust Carlos, bro. For worms, vegetables, mushrooms. They really have their own grocery store out there. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's... Him about his Technically. What he's wearing. So, this is the tail. I want to say, wait. According to size, he has to make goes with the uh, pen. Yes. All righty then. Yes. All right. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going to keep going scream. past that one. Yes. Yes. Scream. Yes. I don't know what's going on. It's, every time they scream, I get scared. I bet you do. Bow and arrows. Yeah, and you. Yeah. This is so wild. Ends up, white boy. Yeah. It's crazy how you can just put your full trust in people without even knowing them. You said that. Now that's you hear all the fear, right? You hear the that's, fear. That's all. That's that white gene in you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Putting your trust in some people you don't even know. A lot of nigga tendencies are starting to scramble in there. They got <laughs> bows and shit, and they cooking the meal, and your ass is <laughs> fat and full fat, for yeah. breakfast. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Dirty nigga. You stupid, bro. Oh, they hit this <laughs> Dirty nigga. Oh. Oh. Hey, where he get the cut from? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Boy getting in this alligator bag. Uh-oh. Become one with the water. Act. Flow with the river. Okay. Oh, he got it, too. He had some shades on? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh the goggles. Oh, my goggles. Well, I was about to say. Pretty incredible how fast he jumped in there and caught the fish. Serious skill. Oh, wow. Dude. Look at these people. That is awesome. <laughs> That's one. Oh, she said, shrimp? You have shrimp in here? Yeah, he did that. Ease. All right. He hit the shrimp. Yeah, we over here. You lost the. Yeah, they, uh, don't lose it. Say, yeah. Oh, you pop it. Uh, Cracked him up. You ain't finna move no more. Within a matter of 15 minutes, they've caught two massive shrimp and two fish. And here comes Damn. another one. Bro, they're fishing with SK, bro. They go good with white men. He's stupid. She's showing them kills. This is the vegetables from the, the jungle, the natural one. They went to the jungle, find vegetable, and then fish, hunting the fish, and they will 
mix up this vegetable, mix up with the sagu and the fish inside. Mm. He tried to make it sound good. <laughs> and to them, it's probably a delicacy shit. Oh, yeah, for sure. See how all the men out hunting? Mm-hmm. Ain't no women out there trying to be equal. We have a guy with a bow and arrow. Gotta be careful with oh. that bow and arrow. I have him on watch at all times. Like, as soon as he starts pointing that, I run away. Yeah, it's it's, it's in the back of my mind. I bet. A warrior just breaking down branches with their bare feet. Oh, clearing the path. He literally just cut down this tree and made a walkway over the, the deep swamp. I'm like, boy scared. Two cameras in my hands. For a self-reliant tribe not so far removed from cannibalism, what's the takeaway? Not Mine so is far simple. removed. The Mamunas are just like me and you. They love, they hate, they laugh, and they cry. While one man may rise above the others as a leader, another may reserve a more spiritual role in society. To call this tribe uncivilized is downright incorrect. They foster relationships and value family <laughs> yeah, in a way that is lost to our smartphones. So who's to say who is civilized or not? The Mamuna tribe hasn't had the advantage of cross-cultural pollination seen in Western societies, and therefore, they haven't benefited from the economical advantages. The best thing we can do as travelers is to respect their traditions and learn from them by applying mm. their values to our daily lives. <clears throat> the human brain is the human brain. Cannibals or not cannibals, Korowai or Mamuna, I am just extremely grateful to break saga with these people and touch each other's minds as equal cut from the same clay. Thanks for watching and hit up my second channel if you want to see all the behind the scenes to how this video was made. That's crazy, man. Next time. My man really yeah. risked it for a YouTube video. We appreciate you, bro. We do, man. Hey. There ain't no way. I wouldn't have I wouldn't have made it. Nah, I made bro. it. I'm, I'm good. But we appreciate that's why hey, that's what we, everybody has a place in this world for a they reason. Do. And, and do, that man. was that was a very informative video. It definitely looked shady all the way through for my boy, but for uh, sure obviously he was able to make it safely back home to upload and everything else so yeah shout out to him man for putting his life on the line so we can be uh more knowledgeable about the world that we live in man. but once you make it back though i know that's like one of the most highs ever like man i actually went and did that mm -hmm. like i know that's probably like the best moment actually making it back and then seeing everything that you experienced out there uh, but again it's not for me um yeah. Otis was shady as soon as you met him at the airport or whatever yeah. he picked you up from and y'all had to go to ATM to ATM your cameraman uh got stopped mm -hmm. yeah, I mean it's all kind of stuff that would have been like that's a sign my boy yep 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 yep, you feel yep. Me? but nah man if y'all enjoyed it y'all already know what to do man make sure you like subscribe I don't know which channel this is gonna land on but whichever one it is this is definitely for educational purposes you on, on the main page, page you know they 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 toned down when it comes to mm -hmm. like I'm informational saying. videos like this mm -hmm. they're, they're cool with that but I'm just saying anywho yeah uh make sure y'all continue to spread love below catch y'all in the next peace out already man if you got a problem then we got the solutions and there's no illusion I made this shit happen I'm living life lucid I'm switching my strategies now they hate on me cause I'm causing casualties But why are they after me? Deep inside they know they can't handle half of me